Are you having trouble buying your first makeup kit or assembling your makeup kit or buying makeup in general? I am a woman. I know sometimes buying makeup can be a bit overwhelming with the different brands that we have out there, the different price range, the different formulations. It can be tasking. I know. Nafika ko your shelf and you're like, this are so many things. I don't even know where to start. So the easiest thing to do is to walk out of the store. No, we're going to divide this into two. You need your basic kit and then you need to have the other kit. This way, when you go to the shop to buy, you know, I'm going to shop for the second one or for the first makeup kit. Yeah. And I want to show you step by step the things that you need to have in your basic kit. Keep watching. Hello beautiful people, I am Priscilla Danu Karibuni Sana, hapa kwa channel yangu. I am very delighted to have you here. So for this video, I am sharing with you important tips. How are you going to shop for your makeup? Yeah, uh, we are going to divide this into two. You need your basic kit and then you need to have the other kit. This way, when you go to the shop to buy, you know, I'm going to shop for the second one or for the first makeup kit. Yeah, and I want to show you step by step the things that you need to have in your basic kit. Keep watching. The basic kit is a kit for your everyday things. You need to have your moisturizer. I have this CeraVe facial AM moisturizer. This is good for the day because it's going to protect your skin from the sun. So it is important. Just get one moisturizer that has sunscreen so that you don't have to apply sunscreen and then apply moisturizer at the same time time you are avoiding uh build up personally i really prefer to not have so many products okay like sometimes it's inevitable but i prefer if i can get like a two in one like this it's a moisturizer and at the same and it still has sunscreen so i know i am sorted out so you apply your sunscreen like that i decided for this video i'm just going to tell you how to shop for your makeup as I demonstrate. So that's number one. Number two, you need to have your primer. The primer is important for setting your skin and preparing it before you can do your makeup. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer. I use this so many times and this is because it's important to prepare your skin before you do your makeup so it's important that you have this in your basic kit i like to apply it under my eyes i like to make sure it goes on the nose over here i like to make sure that it gets to the forehead in the fine lines so that if i have any two lines it can fill up and also apply around my cheeks so that it can fill all the pores and give my face a nice beautiful surface to work with even the laugh lines easy helper yeah it's important so that you are good to go. So that's number two. Have your uh, product for prepping your skin in your basic kit. So when Nimeisha unajua, naenda kushop for A, B, C, and D. Number three, you need to have your foundation and you need to have your beauty blender. This is a black opal, even true flawless liquid foundation. I like this for an everyday, uh, you know, finish, everyday look. One, it has a really nice coverage. It's a medium to full coverage, but its coverage is, it has a better consistency than the Fit Me uh, Maybelline. So I really like this one. Like I like its coverage. And I also like how it just blends with my skin. It's not a matte finish. It's a, just a normal foundation. So I really prefer this for the everyday look. Now, depending on your skin type, yeah, you can buy the product or the foundation that fits uh, your daily needs. This is what fits my daily needs. If you have a sh like an oily skin and you want to have a foundation that meets the needs of an oily skin type, then please buy a product that meets those needs. And a good foundation for oily skin type is like even the, like the Maybelline Superstay. It is really matte. It's a full coverage. It stays, so that can work. Even any product like the Fit Me Maybelline, the normal one it's a matte finish so if you have oily skin that can work for you if you prefer to use mac if you prefer to use a louder whatever you want to use just buy the product that fits your daily needs for every day this is about it i don't need to do much it has it's enough it's you can still see some parts of my like you can see uh, my beauty spot over here and this is because this is a medium to full coverage it's not meant to cover everything but if I want to have like 
more coverage i can build it up i can add more product that way you know the more you add the more you build up the product the more coverage you have so i can decide what i want but at least it gives me the option if i don't want to have so much then i don't need to add so much and i like this particular foundation again because even if i put like two layers like what i've done right now it will still not still not be cakey i like the finish i like everything it has no scent so if you have allergies there's absolutely no way this product is going to affect you make sure you blend your product with your neck you know and your ears and make sure everything is even i did another video on foundation application you can go check it out but yeah so i've done a second uh, you know coat and you can still see my you know my beauty spot over here you can also see like a small black mark i have over here but it's very small but the coverage is is good i like it next you need to have your concealer a concealer is important in the basic kit why do you use a concealer you use a concealer because sometimes you might apply your foundation and still find you have some blemishes on your skin that the foundation has not dealt with so that's why you need one also you can use the concealer to highlight some parts of your area that is to brighten them and some of those areas are like over here the bridge of the nose and under the eyes especially if you have dark circles or just just for brightening your eyes generally i like to brighten my eyes under here and if you notice you'll see that i usually have these two lines i have like a line over here so to reduce that puffiness this also helps so yeah i'll apply some of it over there and over there and i'll leave it at that i don't like to spread it across because this is everyday makeup i am not going to be you know like uh, doing heavy shading and highlighting all i am doing is just to brighten my eyes so there you go and you blend it like that and i like what it has done so for everyday use this will be it you can still use your concealer for other things you can highlight your nose you can highlight this part you can highlight this part but i will leave this at that for every day next you need to have your powder powder is very important in your basic kit you don't have to have two powders i have two powders because i like the lighter shade under my eyes like that and i use my sponge to apply the powder under my eyes so that it just you know gets the product in it sets it in and you can use you know you can also use like a plain a setting powder that does not have any color on it if you are not sure about the complexion to pick with your pigmented powders but just to not complicate your you know your shopping altogether just get one basic powder like this one and this will just you know it will do the trick so that will help i will work under my eyes and on the bridge of the nose i can also use this on my cheeks down here and in the center of the forehead like that and then i will pick my darker powder i personally i use a uh, ray and biscuit yeah those are the shades so the ray is a lighter one biscuit is a darker one so i'm going to use this other powder for the rest of my face and i'm going to be using a powder brush i'll just take my powder brush and apply the powder to the rest of the face and the reason i do this is so that i don't have a flat you know like a flat a look on my face it helps to sort of just shade some areas as i highlight some areas of my skin i have to lift my hair kidogo so that i can get the product into all the areas of course i'll neaten it afterwards it's not a big deal but yeah you get the whole idea so i'm very happy and satisfied with this look for an everyday you know look and i'm done this is the skin is okay i can decide to pick my setting spray and spray right now but i will just do it after i'm done with everything so we are at product number number one two three four five five is the powder so next thing we're going to do is to work on our eyebrows and i'm going to take an eyebrow pencil so a pencil let me use this one so an eyebrow pencil is the next product that you need for your for your everyday basic kit and you also need a spoolie this is what i call a spoolie see over there and it also has this other side this is an angled brush for the eyebrows it is important that you groom your brows because hey you know eyebrows really play a huge role in defining your face yes so even if you want to do makeup and leave out your brows you might not like get that perfect finish let me use this mirror so that i can i can see well I, yeah you can still see my face so yeah 
there you go you need to groom your brows and once you've groomed like they're already groomed and then now you fill them in so that you can define your face we use a pencil or a gel to do this so that you can just try to simulate or make your so that you can try to make your brows look a bit fuller than they already are you know when you have a lot of good hair in all the right places it just makes you look healthier stronger i mean hair is good hair is a good representation you know if you have good hair it's it shows that you are healthy that you you know you sort of have figured out this thing called life <laughs> so yeah i like to to try to fill in my eyebrows and make the to, to hairs look much fuller and that will be it so i'll do the same thing for the other eye I know some people don't like to fill in brows and that's okay. But if you have perfect brows, if they are groomed nicely and they are full, you don't need to fill them. You can definitely skip this step, but you must, and I insist, you must, must, must groom your brows. Remove all those hairs that you don't need. And as you're removing your brows, make sure you work with your face shape. I did a video kitambo on face shape so you can go check it out but yeah so for every day this is this is it i have worked on my brows i dropped something let me just pick it up yeah <laughs> so for every day just you know make sure you groom your two brows you can use your spoolie to brush the front so that it's not you know it's it sort of looks uh, natural and uh, this tail is a bit longer so i will just try to make them the same you can define the lower part of the brow if you like and that's where your concealer still comes you know through i use my concealer to define my eyebrows but you don't have to for every day you don't have to but you can if you if you are able to if you have an extra second please do it so this other side you know of this brush this is what it does then you work and when you're defining the brows if you can keep quiet it will help you do a better job if you have to talk like i am right now do it slowly <laughs> nowadays i don't like to define you know the top of my brows i just feel like i don't want any definition over there but this is it use your two fingers to blend everything and make sure everything looks like you want so once we are done with the well i lost my count once we are done with the eyes with the eyebrows the other products that you need and i'm i'm covering this because most of the times you find that you lose this kifuniko because you don't cover your products immediately after use so please do once i'm done with that i'm going to be working on my eye shadow and when you're working on your eye shadow you need to have an eye primer i'm using this karate eye primer uh and i'm also going to be using this you know this brush over here can you see it this is a flat uh brush it's an applicator you can use a smaller one if you like if you have very small eyes don't use a big applicator so these are things that you have to shop for for your basic kits you need them you can okay for starters if you don't want to buy an eye primer you can use your what is it you can use your concealer or your foundation as your base because the most important thing is that your eye your eyeshadow has something to hold on to so don't stress but if you have you know an extra coin invest in an eye primer because it will do what it's supposed to do once i'm done with my primer i'll need my eyeshadow so you need an eyeshadow in your kit and i already said you know in another video when you're shopping for your eyeshadow you make sure that you're buying colors that have neutral shades especially if it's your first palette and a basic kit means you need the basic stuff and the basic stuff uh, include having basic eyeshadow eyeshadow you'll wear to your office eyeshadow you can wear to school eyeshadow that you can wear you know when you're going to meet your friends etc so yeah i like these colors i'm mixing this brown this too
All right, so once you have your eyeshadow in your basic kit and you have your, notice I have used uh, two brushes, the blending brush over here, the flat applicator. So those are brushes that you definitely need to have in your basic kit. Next is uh, the mascara. Mm, you need to have a mascara and I have one over here. I like to use uh, this Zaron mascara, but you can buy any mascara that you like. And when you're applying your mascara, just open your eyes and make sure you're, you're, you can see what you're doing. Mascara is really good. Some people will think, oh, I can buy everything else but then leave out mascara. There'll definitely be something that, you know, is, is missing. Like if you look at my eyes right now, they are open, like you can see them, you can see my lashes. Because what happens when you apply your powder, when you apply your foundation, when you put in your, your eye base, the, some of that product can get onto your lashes. And if they get onto your lashes, then their natural color might not really pop or show. And the whole idea, you see, wow, do you see the difference? yeah so i think this demonstration summarizes everything that i want to say you need your mascara make sure you buy it oh my gosh i really love my lashes they look so nice so every day don't skip even if i don't do my eyeshadow i think it is very important to work on your brows groom your brows and then put your mascara those two will go a long way because sometimes we just don't have the time to do so much the other thing that you definitely need in your you know in your basic kit is a pencil and this is a black pencil it works for everyday makeup there every time you are working on your eyes make sure that you're a bit gentle so that you don't harm yourself you don't want to prick yourself and stuff like that so for another yeah so another basic thing this so for your eyes you need your eyeshadow you need your mascara and you need your black pencil once i'm done with my eyes i need to work on my lips oh but before i work on my lips let me highlight so yeah you need a highlight for your everyday it's like i need but this depends on what you know it depends on how lit you want to be okay okay there it's open now there are some people who really don't mind, but I think for an everyday kiddo go to, because you're not like highlighting everywhere. You're just highlighting some parts, and that is the nose over there. Kiddo go right in the center. Then I'm going to use this other brush. I used a different blending brush. I will count the number of brushes that you need to have at the end of this video, so don't worry. So I like this one for my cheekbones. Uh, so I'll pout like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then smile so that I can just get some of that product there mm -hmm. and you blend like a C like that don't put too much because you're not doing like highlighting and contouring you're just um, you know this is basic makeup so there, once you're done, we are going to work on our lips. And for every day, I will go with my nude colors anytime. But before I do that, I'm going to take my wet wipes. Yes, you do need to have your wet wipe. I use the soft care wipes. They are, I like them. They work, they are functional. I don't use them to remove my makeup. I just use them to do the basic stuff. When I'm removing the makeup, I will use the micellar water. But when you're doing makeup, you need wet wipes to wipe your foundation you know you need wet wipes to do a few things here and there to wipe your hands to wipe products off your hands if you have to put them on your hands like i do so it's important to always have you know your wet wipes close by so i'm just going to apply this uh, this is like vaseline this is a johnson's baby vaseline i like to moisturize my lips before i apply any pencil and um, I'll use my facial tissue again because this is a lot I want to remove some of it so that it does not interfere with my application so this is a nude pencil I'm using this can you see I 
I can apply this and then put gloss and I'll be good to go. I don't like to have lipstick on every single day. It just makes me not so comfortable. I like my lips to breathe. I really, really appreciate when they can just relax. Matte lipstick can be a bit drying sometimes. So I avoid them when I can. I also don't like to put moisturizing lipstick uh, every day. In short, I just don't like to put on lipstick all the time. So for everyday use, I will recommend that you just get lip liner. You can get one lipstick, identify which is the one for me. If you're a red lipstick kind of a girl, pick the red lipstick. If you're not the person who likes the red lipstick every day, you can use a nude lipstick like this one. I've opened it so you can see the shades. That's a nude lipstick. Uh, okay, let me just apply it so that you can see. Like that. And then it's not going to come out. Okay, I wasn't planning on putting it, but now that I have, I don't regret. It looks really nice. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is to put my lip gloss if, you, if I want to do it. If I don't want to leave it like that, but for your everyday makeup you need a gloss let me use this gloss this is a squeeze and lovely i think you have seen this lip gloss in town it is a very common brand so you can apply this if you wish if you don't want to you can leave it so when i'm using the pencil i always put the pencil and then put the gloss if i'm not you know if i don't feel like putting the gloss i will not but in my everyday kit i need to have that then last but not least, I will need my setting spray because you need to set all the makeup. So yeah. Ooh. And when you're applying your setting spray, just give it time. Make sure you kila mahali. Kando, kando na kando. Again, I'm going to take my wipe and wipe my hands. So that's what you need for your basic makeup kit. Your first kit. Kit number one one for kit number two i don't know if i just need to do a whole video all together describing kit number two or i leave it at that i think the video is long enough as of now so let me break this into two and do a part two yeah thank you so so much for watching the video to the end if you like the content subscribe to this channel i am priscilla ndanu